Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about academic progress at Key Stage 3. So the first thing to recognise is effort is judged every half term in every subject. And the effort goes from zero, which is a serious cause of concern, uh, th through to one, which is which is a slight issue to certain subjects, uh, a two, which is everything's fine, everything's going well, and a three, they're going above and beyond. And this effort data is collated and it's used in a couple of places. The first one, you're going to get reports. Um, in the first instance, you'll get one at half term one, which is just an effort report and its subjects. So you can see how your child has settled in. Then every term, you'll get an academic report, which contains the effort and also an average effort throughout the year. These effort reports are then fed into our expert learner system, which is something I'll go through in the next video. In terms of academics, students are assessed every half term against their starting point. So they've all just completed key stage two SATs in English and maths. And this is what we use to see how, how, how well they are doing. So this is the same system that's used at GCSE in terms of progress eight, but in English and maths, especially when they do assessments, we look to see where they came in at and where they are now. And this tells us whether they're on, above or below expected progress. But at the end of the year, we review this. So we do something called NGRT progress tests in English and maths at the end of year seven, which then gives us an updated standardized age score, the same thing you get at key stage two, which is then purported to parents. This tells us A, whether our curriculums are strong enough, but B, also whether your child is making progress. And that's the most important thing. If your child is identified as being below, then we have a duty to put intervention in place. And this could be in class intervention, or it could be after school intervention. But anytime you get a report, if, the, if your child has been placed as below expected progress, then you should have had a phone call with that teacher beforehand. It seems unfair to judge uh, other subjects against English and maths, but that's what GCSEs do. And it gives us a nice starting point because that's the most accurate data we have. However, we do take things into account and teachers have their own baseline assessments, which are then used to try and track progress. If you have any questions about academic progress, please don't hesitate to contact me. And hopefully if you have any questions about the reports, you can talk to the child, your child's tutor or your child's teacher as soon as possible or, or just before or just after they come out. Right, thank you for your time.